We're in the we're in Ballykeith on the way to the Coliseum of Irish MMA. So originally, I hadn't heard of it. Um, I was looking at doing a venue in Kilkenny, an event in Kilkenny, and was talking to Miles Price about potentially doing one there, and he was talking about doing the Ballykeith Amphitheatre. And yeah, it's like the best way I can describe it, it's obviously outdoor and you're just looking down onto the, the cage area and it's it's out in the countryside, it's kind of scenic and yeah, I just think it's the perfect venue for, for MMA and, and over time, it could become an annual show, you know? So that's what we're looking at building it into. Like realistically, I think everyone's, like they, there's so many shows on per year that like if anyone is a little bit sensitive about the weather, they can just bring an umbrella, like okay. that's, that's our attitude. No, the show will be on for like three, three and a half hours. So we're 11 weeks out, we've about 15 so far, but I don't know, on the night we'll get 15 to 20 across the line, I'd say. But you never know with pullouts and stuff like that. It's a chaotic, it's a chaotic world, the MMA world. We'll get, we'll get 15 to 20, hopefully. Like the people that run it, like it's owned by the Kilkenny County Council, but it's, the volunteers are so supportive. Like they're so helpful, like they've, They've, they've offered to do so much for us and um, they're really backing us for this one so I'm really, really grateful for their support and uh, yeah, you, you kind of need that with, with kind of special venues like this. It, like I've ran enough events now to know that this is going to be a good one, like this is going to be, this is going to be the best event we've ever ran, you know. I know, I know based on the, the fight, like every fighter in the country has been on to me to get onto this card, like every, every fighter in the country, pro and amateur, that's kind of like on a regional show wants to get on this show and the city of Kilkenny, the responses we're getting, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an epic night and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a breakthrough night, I feel, for a couple of fighters. There's a few fighters on the card that I think that no one has heard of yet that are gonna really break through on this card in Ballykeith Amphitheatre. Ultimately, what it's all about, it's about the fighters, you know, giving them the best opportunities we can. That's what everyone, I think, in MMA is trying to give. Ten, ten weeks to go, ten weeks to go, Tony. about the the card and who's headlining this show who's headlining that because this yeah it's a, it's a the proper coliseum um yeah so who, who's headlining this coliseum the headliner is going to be just got done it's alexander yankov of compound martial arts and alex is in a kind of a unique position in his career i like for me this is the most important fight of his career uh, ever and he's only like he's always had hard hard fights and i think that and Oshin will back me up on this. Needless to say, he's his number one supporter. Alex has always taken, and it's a cliche in MMA, people say like, oh, well, he's only ever had the hardest fights. He's only ever taken the hardest opponents and he's gotten hard done by in his career. But genuinely, I do think Alex actually is hard done by. That's just my opinion, working from the outside looking in. Like he's fought, his last fight was against Claudio Pacella. He's fought Ryan Shelley. He's fought a whole load of really good guys that are at like European level. And I think that if he's matched correctly, he could have a three or four fight win streak here starting in main eventing the Coliseum, you know what I mean? And he's fighting another tough opponent making his professional debut. But with Alexander, like he's dedicated himself to mixed martial arts for 10 years and he's just such a determined person that I would back him. How old is he? He's, uh, he's, he's 29. Yeah, so he's rel relatively speaking, he's young. Yeah, so. like he's, he's 29 years old, but like he could go like a three fight win streak here. And by the time he's 30, he could get into his 30s and have a, a good run here. And I'm backing him. I really am. Like, people think I'm... A lot of people will, might, might look at his record and say, like, you know, they might question his potential. But I really genuinely think he could get on a win streak here and shock a lot of people. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he's the, he's the most determined person I've ever met. Honestly, one of them. Like, he's up there. Like, he's, he's got so much determination. And, you know, he's got another tough opponent on his hands in Jan Masek. Um, but I'd be backing Alex. Um, so when you're creating these cards, like, 
How difficult is it to, you know, kind of pick that main event? You know, how do you, how do you navigate that between your candidate pool and, um, you know, what you want, how, how do you? A lot of it comes down to timing, like availability and timing. Like if you have someone like Alex on that time frame, there was a, there was a few names that were coming, they might have, you know, they might not be available on that particular time frame. A lot of it does come down to timing, to be honest. Okay. And uh, availability of the correct opponents. You know, Jan is a great opponent for Alex. And I, th I think that Alex is a good, a good dance partner for Jan as well, but yeah, it does come, a lot of it does come down to timing and also, I, I do get all, all along very well with Oshie, and it does come down to personal relationships as well, to be honest. Yeah, like, that's just yeah. life. That's, that's business and that's life. I, I do get along quite well with Oshie, so um, I get along quite well with Alex also. So I just think it's, it's something that, you know, once the matchup is correct and once, you know, the people involved are, 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 are good to work with, um, it does a lot of it, does come down to timing. All right, so when, when you're developing your undercard, you know, when you kind of have your opening fights, um, is it important to you to kind of have you know, like uh, fighters with like a solid foundation already, or do you kind of like having, um, you know, newer fighters, newer amateurs, or even professionals, I guess, um, you know, kind of opening the show? Yeah, like there's there's a mix. Like with with debut fights, it's always a little bit difficult because you can't get a. You, there's rarely footage on guys. There's seldom footage on guys, and so it's harder to know exactly what level people are at when there's a couple of fights out there. You can see what level someone's at. Um, but like coaches, you know, the coaches know better than I do. They've got the technical expertise that I don't have. They will know what level their fighter is at compared to another fighter once there's footage. But with debut fights, it, that's the most difficult. It's the most difficult to get the correct debuts. But you know, we've we've gone it right, thankfully, most 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 of the time. So, yeah, it's it's really down to that. Obviously, the the fight cards are changing. How do you keep that from happening? You know, like, uh, obviously, fighters get injured. What do, you, what do you do to kind of mitigate or manage that? Um, yeah. So like, there's. There's a few things, like like in the Republic of Ireland, obviously there's more stringent medicals, but yeah, like really nine times out of 10, it works out. And there's available opponents, again, timing. It does come down yeah. to timing. Like for available opponents, it does come down to who is available at that particular time and willing to accept the fight on two weeks notice, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's more or less it. We do our best and we, like as time goes on and you get more connections with more gyms, you can kind of have a bigger pool of candidates to choose from. But um, yeah, we're at about 15 fights currently for this particular card. And um, yeah, it'll be packed. Do you have, do you have like kind of like a go-to gym or a fighter that you go like if someone pulls out and you're like, oh, I need someone tomorrow. There's some um, people that are more game than others yeah. that will accept fights on late notice. You know, there's other people that would be more selective. Yeah, there's 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 different people, but some people are more uh, willing to accept fights on later notice, and some some won't. You know, they they want particular fights, and it won't make sense for them in their gym and their yeah, their yeah, timing. Sure. You know, how many professionals are on this card coming up? So we've won pro fight, okay. currently Alexander Yankov versus Jan Masek. Um, and yeah, that's basically more or less it. We're gonna have one professional fight for this particular card and the remainder are, are amateur under fights, under card fights rather. Uh, aside from the main event, was there another one, that, another fight that you have booked that you're looking forward to, to seeing? Oh, definitely, there's, there's a few. I mean, the main one that I'm looking forward to and it kind of boggles my mind that people don't know who this guy is and He's just amazing. Like I, I've I've been around long enough, and I've I, I've known enough about uh, this sport to to see talent and know talent when I see it. And the guy's name is Matty O'Rourke. He trains out of Myala Martial Arts. He's from Carlo, and he trains in Myala Martial Arts. He's on. He's knocked out three of his last four opponents, and only for one of his opponents has like a concrete block for a chin. <laughs> he would be on a four-fight knockout streak. His only loss is to Conor McCarthy. Okay, and. He just went. Pro, he just went pro. Just went pro, and he's like less, month, two months ago. Yeah, yeah, and he's like he got. What did he win? He won severe MMA prospect of the year last year. So, uh, and like that was one week's notice. Matt, he took that fight on. Matty is legit. He's he's. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to break out on this particular card. Right. You know, he's matched against Gareth McCormick of FAI. Gareth is a seasoned fighter himself. Really, really good. And they're kind of similar personalities in a way. Gareth and and Matty. Gareth is very. He's kind of happy-go-lucky chap, and so is Matty, out of the cage. But when they get into the cage, it is oh, a very different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Matty, he doesn't go in to go to a decision. He goes in to finish. Okay. Um, and I'm just, I, I, again, I go back to it. I cannot believe that people don't know who he is. Like, a lot of people on the scene don't really know Matty yet. 
Yeah. And um, this is going to be a breakout night for him. I, I really feel it will be. And Gareth is not going to make it easy for him. Gareth is going to try and come away with that Irish amateur title as well. It's, it's for a, an Irish light heavyweight title. Um, How many title fights do you have? Uh, there'll be two. Just two, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Uh, debut fighters, do you have any first-timers? Oh, yeah, there'll one? be a good few. Yeah, yeah. Um, offhand, there's, I think there's three or four. Yeah, okay. I'd have to look at the exact card to, to, to get that. But, yeah, there's a, there's a good few debuts. Towards the top of the card, we have more experienced guys, obviously. Alex and Jan. Where do they both fight out of? So Alex is fighting at a compound martial arts in Artane yeah. and Jan is fighting at a Pancration, Czech yeah. Republic, Prague. So yeah, he's flying he's over. He's, he's yeah. being flown in for the fight, yeah. Is he, uh, how early is he coming in? Like, like uh, not coming in the day of, obviously. No, no, no he'll weigh in. Yeah, yeah. yeah day um, but I mean, like, is he coming like a week or two to kind of get acclimated or? Um, he typically just comes in the day before. He's already fought one of my cards previously. Oh, really? In Cork. Okay. Yeah. He fought as an amateur. Okay. On, on the court card, Very good. but yeah, it's an it's a, it's. Is that sorry? Is that typical for for pros to do kind of just in Europe? Up? Yeah. Oh. oh oh, in for amateurs. Oh well, no, just I mean, I guess pros in general. Um, you know, like, I I feel like I, if it was me, uh, I'd want to show up like maybe a week beforehand just oh, to yeah. kind of you know. If it was settled, the U.S., but... I think it's one day per hour time difference. Really? Yeah. So if you're going to New York, whatever the time difference is, you okay. come in. I'd usually do that double. Okay. Well, you know, that's what fighters would, would typically do. Um, but yeah, for, for Jan, Czech Republic is one hour. So he usually that's it. one hour. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right, it. That's, so. that's not bad then. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, so he'll come in he'll come in the day before. Um, and that's more or less it. Yeah, he's he's fought here before though. He's fought in Cork previously, so he's and his manager has lived in Ireland for, for years and okay. years, so Yeah, and it's generally your rest week anyway, so you're just easy to do cardio anywhere. Mm. So um, Okay, that makes. I was overthinking it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it was a uh, Alex and Jan. Um, it's come from Czech Republic. Um, Alex, you feel like you know could really break out on the. Uh, on he the he, he hasn't had it easy. You yeah. know, like you can look at a fighter and see that he's o like. He has the right fights that are building him, and then he gets a fighter that's kind of like... He likes these tough fights. Yeah, I think he's kind of forced to take harder fights than, okay. he's, than he's really needed to, and hasn't really been built. And I think this is, this is a great fight for him. Not like Jan has every chance of winning this. I'm not coming in here saying this is a 50-50 fight. I'm not saying that, it, like, you know, this is a building fight for Alex. You know, Jan has every chance of winning this. And he's bloody good. Yeah. But I think Alex hasn't had the right breaks, and he's, always, he's been forced into taking fights that haven't been the best for him at the time. And this is this is a great fight for him. Basically, you feel like this is a really good matchup for uh, the pair, really, but uh, specifically for Alex and his uh, career that he's had so far. You, you think this is a, a great matchup for him. Yeah. Right, so like then, you know, the, the inverse of that, Jan, um, him coming into this, how do you, you know, what, what are your prospects for, for him? Well, he's making his professional debut. Um, you know, he's, he, he's uh, the best way I can describe him is he's just a wrecking machine. He just, <laughs> he just marches forward, tries to get the fight to the ground and, you know, put on power submissions onto, onto his opponents. Um, and Alex is going to have to stay on the outside and move around and make sure that he doesn't get clinched by Jan. Um, it's interesting to see who will win the grappling exchanges. But, yeah, I think he has every chance of winning. It's an international fight, you know, and Jan is not going to be wanting to get off his professional career to a on a losing start so yeah it's a it's a it's a, it's a massive fight and I, I i'm really happy for alex to get this to get this fight on this card absolutely um and certainly this could mean quite a bit for for jan as well seeing as this is his this will be his debut pro fight and i'm definitely excited to yeah, even be up here watching it because this place is great like <laughs> at any time like, you hear all the birds chirping and uh, it's, it's a really lovely venue like uh i can't wait to go get more shots at this place <laughs> So the next fight that uh, we want to keep an eye on, um, Matty O'Rourke, Gareth McCormick. Yeah. Talk to me about it. <laughs> so um, what, what was it like matching them two up? When, like, did, did you, it was like a, kind of like a puzzle, you're just you know, moving tiles around and then they just happened to match? Or you know, was that something you had planned? Um, yeah, like every matchup, I suppose you're moving, the, you're moving around and you know, the certain things align at certain times and certain experience aligns at certain times. It, it kind of boggles my mind that more people haven't heard of Matty O'Rourke. Like he is, he's a genuine Irish prospect and I don't think people, I don't think people fully recognize him for what he is yet. You know, 
he's really, really amazing. And he's knocked out three of his last four opponents. His only loss is a, a fight on late notice against one of the best fighters in the country, probably the best fighter in the country right now, Conor McCarthy, at welterweight. Yes, yeah. um, Sorry, is that what weight they're fighting at now? No. What are they Light heavyweight. Oh, light heavy, okay. Uh, this this an right. Irish light heavyweight title. The, like, Matty is the best light heavyweight in Ireland. There's no two ways about it. And, like, I think Matty is someone longer term that can be a real ambassador for the sport. Like, he's, he's so likable. He's such a nice guy. He's really happy-go-lucky chap, but he just gets into the cage and... He doesn't go to the. He doesn't want to go to the decision. He doesn't want to go to points. He's there to finish. Okay. And Gareth is a seasoned, seasoned fighter as well. And he's been around the block. And he's not going to make it easy for Maddie here. And he's coming down from Belfast to win this Irish light heavyweight title. And like sometimes you get, you get amateur titles, and you know sometimes it can mean that they're the best in Ireland, obviously. And sometimes it can mean you know that they're not. There's other yeah. people that are unavailable or whatever else. This is a genuine Irish light heavyweight title, and. I think that it just skyrockets Matty to another level if, if he wins, because Gareth is really good. You know, he's, he's fought only premium opposition as well, like, you know, and I just can't, again, I go back to it, I can't believe that more people haven't heard of Matty O'Rourke. He's really, really special. I he's think, really uh, good. I think after, was it June 29th? Uh, June 29th, 10 weeks away. Yeah, I think that uh, might be a different perspective on the gentleman after, after that fight. Um, I certainly hope there is. Um, <laughs> Sorry, back to like matchmaking, like uh, what is it, you know, like, did those two just kind of come together or did you, like, did you have that planned? Um, so like, like with everything, I suppose it does just come together, like the, the, their experience levels lined up. Okay. And yeah, it's just kind of like timing, availability and so on as well, you know, realistically. But um, yeah, it just kind of lined up. Uh, how about Gareth then? You know, was there anything that specifically stood out to you that you thought would make this a good matchup? Um, yeah, their, their level of skill, you know, Gareth is, you know, they're like, they're very high on him in FAI um, and they're talking about him potentially turning professional in, okay. in the future. And that's the level that we're at here. Like, Matty's at that level, Gareth's at that level and whoever wins is the best light heavyweight in Ireland, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think Gareth is a really, really good guy and he's not coming down here to lose. He's coming down here to win and he's going to make it very, very difficult for Matty and he's going to have to walk through fire to get that victory. Thank you. Um... Speaking of walking, uh, I just had this thought, where are they going to walk in and out of? Oh, where where are the warm-up rooms going to be? Uh, so the warm-up rooms are over there. They're outdoor warm-up rooms, obviously, because we're okay. outdoors. Um, but yeah, there's gonna, they're going to be walking directly out. Down straight down, down yeah. to the middle? Yeah, that's where we're really? leaning towards it now. Yeah, straight down uh, to the middle. That's going to be now, sick. Yeah. That's going to be, that's going to be real cool, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Look, um, look I, I appreciate you talking with me. Um, I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a sick event. Um, you know, regardless of you know who's cheering for who out there, I think everyone's gonna really enjoy themselves. Just you know, look at the place. <laughs> um, you know, so like, I'm looking forward to it. Um, looking forward to the main event. Uh, looking forward to just being here. Um, looking forward to feeling the atmosphere because I have a feeling you will be able to feel it. Um, so heck yeah, I'm, like, I'm I'm really looking forward to it, and I appreciate you inviting me out here to to have a look at it and uh, to. Talk to you about it. Thank you for coming, Tony. Okay. And I will. I will see you on June 29th. Hopefully before then as well. Yes, definitely.